right, here we are in lesson 20, module three, video one. And if you don't already have them, please go and get the envelope that has the paper strips in them. And in your book, you need to tear out the comparison tape diagrams. Um, you know, have it somewhere situated so that you can lay the strips on it. And I'm gonna do number one with you, and then you're gonna do the other ones by yourself and show them to me. Um, maybe you can bring them to me or we'll talk about it in class. All right, so number one says the red strip is twice as long as the blue strip. Okay, well, I have some digital strips here and the red strip is twice as long as the blue strip. I think I need to make this larger so that it'll let me use it. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put a red strip up there and I'm going to put a blue strip up there. So right now they are the same, but I need the red strip to be twice as long. So all I need to do is add one more there, being careful not to overlap and I'm not cutting right? I'm just using the strips as they are. And now my red strip is twice as long as my blue strip. Okay. If you need any hints, just come and ask because you're going to be working on the red strip being half times as long as the blue strip, the blue strip three times as long as the red strip, the blue strip one third times as long as the red strip, and the blue strip two thirds times as long as the red strip. So today we're solving word problems involving fractions. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and um, of course you're going to work on that. So you can pause me and work on your strips, bring them to me in class and we'll work on them. But as far as the video, we're going to jump into the next question, which is in your book number one. And it says in the fifth grade, there are four fifths as many students who do not wear glasses as those who do wear glasses. There are 60 students who wear glasses. How many students are in the fifth grade? Ooh, that sounds like a good problem. Do you think we need a comparison tape diagram to model this? That would really help because then we can compare. I'm thinking glasses versus no glasses, right? Okay, I think um, I thought we had one that was going to pop up here for us, but I don't see it. No. Okay, well, we will draw it, right? We can certainly do that. Let's go back through the story piece by piece and draw it as we go. All right, come on. Did we lose it? I wanted it to open big and then I can use the tools, but it doesn't want to do that. So we'll just use these tools. Okay, so four fifths as many students who do not wear glasses as those who do wear glasses and we know that there are 60 who do wear glasses. All right, so G is for glasses and NG is for no glasses. And you know there's four fifths who do not wear as many glasses. So I'm thinking we make a tape diagram and it's gonna be four out of five. So one, two, three, four, five. But this last part is not going to, oh, it's going to let me erase it. Very good. So we're just going to have four. And this is like a ghost five over here. And the way we're going to unghost it is by showing our glasses having the whole four-fifths here. All right, so these are our comparisons, and the question is asking us how many students are in the fifth grade. So we have our glasses and our non-glasses, and this is our question mark. But we do have one more piece of information. 
which is that 60 students wear glasses. So right here is our 60. And you know what? I'm just going to circle it instead of rewriting it. Okay. So now we have our comparison tape diagrams set up. Are there more students who wear glasses or more students who don't wear glasses? Yeah, more students who wear glasses, right? I bet they can see really well. All right, so that's why our glasses tape diagram is longer. Okay, looking good. So let's write an equation that we can try and figure out this total amount of students, right? So this is 60. We already know that this glasses group is 60. We have it right there. If we could find four fifths of 60, and then we could add it together, and then that would give us our total, right? Okay, so I think we could do that. We could say, what is four fifths? This is one way to do it of 60. And if it helps you to put a number one underneath there, that's fine so that you know what you're multiplying. And then we could multiply that. Is there another way? Well, there's always another way, right? Let's think about this. We have our 60 broken into five parts. Do you know that 5 times 12 is equal to 60? Uh-huh. So if each of these are equal to 12, right, then 12 times 4 is 48, and 4 fifths of 60 is 48. Is that true? Well, what's 4 times 60? That's 240, right? And 5 times 1 is 5, so 240 divided by 5, because our fraction is a, ooh, got away from me there. Our fraction is a division problem. Let's see if it's going to work out just perfectly. Okay, so 5 times 4 is 20. I think I need to move my picture. Okay. And 24 minus 20 is 4. Bring down our 0. 40 divided by 5 is 8. Yes, it is correct. Okay, now do we have our final answer yet? So this is 48, not wearing glasses. Wearing glasses is 60, so now we need to add those two together. 60 plus 48 is 108. Please make sure you write it as a sentence. There is 108 students in this fifth grade. Amazing. All right, thanks for your hard work. I'll see you in the next video. Aloha.